we focused? Are we? Oh, yes, there we go. Well, hello, besties. I have been trying to do this video for ever. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know what I'm talking about. I've asked y'all so many times to ask me questions, to answer for a Q&A, and sometimes I get like so, I don't want to say fed up because I never get fed up with y'all. But I just get so, I don't want to say irritated because I don't get irritated, but I just get so like bored with these same questions. I just feel like, are these the only questions that they want to ask me? Like, come on. I thought we were past this and beyond this. So today, um, I hope that you stick around for the video. I'm just giving you a warning. If you are here and you don't really watch and you click because of the title and you want me to just get it over with already, just get to the questions and have a yes or no answer to the questions, I'm already telling you to click off. This ain't what you want, baby. Because you already know that I like to chat. I like to feel what I am saying. I need you to feel what I am saying so that we are here and we connect. So I'm not giving you a yes or no question. It's going to be a very um, talkative video. So if you're not in for the talkativeness, I don't want to see you in my comment section talking about, oh my God, she talks so much. I love you, but, well, I love you too, but bye. This video ain't for you because I'll be talking, best friend. And tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow in the vlog. But today, I'm going to be answering some questions that y'all always ask me. One of the questions that I feel like get the most is, do you only date white guys? First of all, I feel super violated with this question because I don't feel like people, I don't feel like it's a question that needs to be, I just don't feel like it's a question that needs to like be answered. I don't feel like there is a right answer for me to give y'all because if I say no, I don't just only date white guys, then you guys are gonna be like, well, we never seen you with anybody. And I'm gonna be like, well, you haven't known me all 34 years of my life to know what or who I've had in my life. And to me, that's nobody's business. You know, like a woman doesn't tell, a woman doesn't kiss and tell, like you just don't do that. So if the only person you've ever seen me with happens to be, you know, a white guy because I had kids and then like the next person you saw was white and, you know, one other guy that you saw, you only saw his hand and you assumed because his skin was light that he was white, then I don't know what to tell you. And there's no answer for me to give you on that except like, what do you want to hear me say? Like, why do I need to validate any answer? And I just don't feel like that's a question that needs to be answered because for whatever reason, when it comes to a woman and especially a black woman, we don't get championed for doing things outside of the box. If it's a white man who you seen be in an interracial relationship, you don't go, oh, he hates himself. He hates his race. That's why he's choosing to procreate with a black woman. But when a black woman does it, oh, she hates herself and she's a bed wench. Come on now, come on now. And if that said white guy chooses to date another black woman, it's not like, oh, he really hates himself. It's like, oh, you go, <laughs> do it for the culture. And when it's a black woman, it's like, oh, she really hates herself. Oh my God, like, no, I'm not out here dating a giraffe. I'm not out here dating a koala bear. I'm, I'm not attracted to animals. I'm attracted to males. And not the male man, but I'm attracted to men. And I'm not close-minded when it comes to that. And I'm pro, you know, black love and all of that. And I do, I hear women when they say, well, I love a black man and I will never. But but I know for, for me, and this is just a statement for me and nobody else, but I like to keep my options just as open as a man does. I shall say that. I'm sorry that I don't share the most intimate pieces of my life. I don't think I don't think that's important. It's a question that I get a lot and I'm just like, is that important? Is that gonna stop world hunger? You know what I mean? Like just let me know. Let me, let me know. 
The next question that I get a lot is, girl, what you doing with your real estate? The answer to that is everything, besties. I have not given up on that. That is something that is a big part of my life. I know that I live my life in front of you guys and when I share things with you guys and I stop talking about things, you are just naturally curious to ask me the question, but if I don't talk about it, trust me, it's for a reason. When it comes to anything, career-wise outside of YouTube. I kind of keep that to myself because people are just crazy. And I'm not talking about, you know, the supporters. I hate it when, you know, you guys get offended because you think I'm talking about you. You know, I'm talking about the sick people out in the internet who have these dormant stalker tendencies who cross lines that are extremely blurred in their heads and they don't realize it. So a way to protect my already public life, to have certain things to myself, I can't tell y'all every single thing to protect my privacy in whatever future endeavors that I'm working on outside of YouTube because inside of YouTube is one thing but outside of YouTube is a whole nother Valencia and a whole nother Valencia that I'm working on so I'll share some things with y'all like when I make my first sell on a home what that experience was like or you know what agency I'll be working with I probably won't even tell you what agency I'm working with I, 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 may, I won't ever tell you what agency I'm working with, but I will share certain details about being in real estate, but everything is going the way it should. And sometimes you have to put things on pause because I had a lot of things going on last year and I kept those things to myself and I kind of wanted to keep the whole school process to myself. I know some people don't believe in energy and you know you gotta live your life but sometimes you gotta keep things to yourself and succeed when nobody is watching. You have to lay plans out to yourself and not you know look to always be like oh look at me see I did it and I told y'all a lot of things I accomplished I don't need anybody to know about. So yeah with the real estate thing I'm still in it and it is a process but i am still in it the next question that i get a lot is pertaining to and it seems to be like relationship wise either who i'm dating who i prefer to date And if I will ever marry again. And to answer that question, which is not going to be a yes or no, because I don't know what God has planned for me. But I know right now at this moment, I am completely okay with being alone. And I'm completely okay that if I'm alone for the next five years, I'm okay. If I'm alone for the rest of my life, I'm okay. But I'm not closed off to the fact that I may find somebody, no, scratch that. Someone may find me <laughs> and love me to pieces and bring to the table everything that I could imagine and more. I am not closed off to that, but I am okay with me being alone and being happy with just being and I don't even want to say alone because I'm not alone like I got me <laughs> I'm not alone I got me and I'm enough so that's my answer to that I'm not closed off to it um, but am I looking for marriage to say that that completes me or now I am someone you know like ooh, I'm sometimes like I don't get upset but I question when people say oh my gosh I can't wait for you 
I can't wait for that man to come along in your life to, I don't know, like make you happy. But girl, that's not gonna make me happy. I'm already happy and I just wish that we would stop treating women who aren't in relationships like they're an old miserable spinster. You know what I mean? You can still have a wonderful life. You can still laugh and be full of vibrance and joy and not have to be in a relationship with anyone. So right now marriage is not on my radar. The only thing that's on my radar is being successful within my own self, within my own right and taking care of my kids, I feel like more than anything, I wanna be successful by myself. I don't wanna feel like I'm successful because I married somebody and now we got things together. But if I wasn't with that person, I wouldn't be able to have nothing. You know what I mean? Like I can pay my own bills. I don't need a partner to pay half of my bills. You know what I'm saying? I don't need anybody to come along and do half of nothing for me. I'm more than a whole person to do those things on my own. That marriage is just not on my radar. Been there, done that, got a t-shirt, and I don't want the same thing that I had before. I want something much, much more outside of being able to buy a house with somebody and all of that because baby, I can buy my own house. Whew, girl, these questions are so difficult. Another question that I get is, do I want more kids? Unless I win the lottery and I get a whole new uterus, yes, but Quite frankly, this is gonna sound really, really crazy and y'all are gonna be like, girl, I don't want to have kids from anybody else. You know what I mean? I know, I know, but I like the fact that all of my kids come from one guy and I like that so I really don't want to have any more kids with anybody else and I know you're probably saying so what you're saying you want to have more kids with him no but if I were to have more kids the plan would have been to have them be from you know one mom one dad and that's it and that's the story of my life and what I want for my life um so for me no if I was going to have more kids, it would have been with, you know, the individual I was married to. And now that we're not married together anymore, then clearly we're not going to have any more kids. So that road of having children is done for me. Um, I just don't want to have multiple baby daddies. You know what I'm saying? And that's me. That ain't everybody else because you know, sometimes you're young, you have kids young and you have that one kid when you're like 18 and you have your whole life to live and you turn 27 and you met this amazing man and now you wanna have more kids and that's cool because life happens differently for everybody. But I feel personally, girl, I got more than enough children to deal with. I don't think I can deal with anymore. <laughs> I can't deal with any more and not from another individual. So no, I don't think I'll have any more children, but I think we'll get a pet. The next question that I get a lot, okay, real estate, relationships, marriage, white guys, that, that question really just, it does something to me. Like, I don't like that question. Yes. Valencia is open to dating white guys, but is it the only race that I would date? No, no, it just so happened that I was married, okay, with real papers for over a decade and I had a whole lot of kids. And if somebody of a different race wants to take me out on a date or I happen to start dating them, it doesn't mean that's my preference, it's just what has been 
available to me. Um, you know what I mean? <sighs> anyway, girl, enough that I'm gonna leave that subject alone because it just makes me, it just makes me feel some type of way. That's okay. What's another question? Oh, last but not least, what's going on with you and your ex and that whole love triangle? And I would like to say formally that there are plenty of YouTube channels right now that have a whole lot of drama with baby daddies and uh, leaving their husbands and, you know, sharing that part of their life in their journey right now. And I would encourage you to go over there and watch them for that. But this ain't it over here. This is Valencia's channel, and if I'm not with that person anymore, then y'all can't be with that person no more. That's just the kind of friend that I am. We don't talk about that individual over here, okay? Non-existent, they don't exist, vio con Dios. So I don't feel comfortable with talking about that individual or anything pertaining to that individual, which is why you guys don't hear me talking about that individual whatsoever. I'm a Scorpio. When I'm done, I'm done. And I know some of you are gonna be like, well, you brought us along your whole life journey and I'm going through the same thing and I wanna know, but I'm not in a space or a place where talking about my ex is productive. Um, I know a lot of times it would be very, what's the word, how do I wanna say this? I just don't wanna make that individual feel like anybody's thinking about them over here. or that they're a topic over here. Because again, I'm a Scorpio, when I'm done, I'm done. When you are not a part of my life, you're not a part of my life whatsoever. And I'm okay with that. Like, I, I'm okay with that. And I know you're probably like, but girl, you just said that you're not gonna have no more kids based on the fact that you're not with that person yet because I'm done. You know, like, when you're done, you are done. And I know it will probably fill the heads of people who have a ton of ego and that think that my life revolves around a certain storyline, timeline, or something like that. But it doesn't. So I feel completely okay with telling y'all to please stop asking me about my ex. Um, I think that's one of the most belittling things that people can do to a woman, especially in a society where we are already prejudged and labeled as bitter and not being able to move on. Woo, all these crazy things, but it be the people around you that just won't let go and won't allow you to let go. You know, it's just like, don't be that friend who is always, their first question is, how's your ex? Well, damn, you can go check on girl because I'm not checking for anybody. You know, um, this is my space in my life and the only thing I'm focused on sharing in 2019 is how I am momming like a boss. And I look to other independent YouTubers who live their life independently without having to talk about 
an ex and that's where I'm at I don't want to talk about my ex I don't want to talk about who he's with I don't want to talk about anything pertaining to that individual because it is reductive and I don't want to give anybody any type of satisfaction to say oh she's just talking about me when ain't nobody over here worried except you know people who just have such a strong curiosity about individuals that have nothing to do with my life anymore and if anything if I feel like those crazy people who have the, the blurred lines of you know what is going across a boundary and what is not sometimes I just want to tell them you're not crossing a boundary for me you're crossing a boundary for my kids because I don't have to have that type of relationship with that person that's the relationship that's meant for my kids and if you want to know that much about somebody who I'm no longer with then you are really um, crossing you're, you're, you're really I guess impeding on my kids privacy and not necessarily mine anymore because again I'm not with this person anymore I'm not married to this person anymore I don't have ties to this person anymore I am happily divorced it is one of the best things that has ever happened to me in my life and I would not have thought then that I would be in this place where I'm like damn be like you are on it and you don't have to be with anybody to say that you are successful or that your life is so you know good and uh, you're thriving I can thrive on by myself and I want y'all to let me do that by myself until things change in my life and you you will be a part of that process but sometimes you gotta let things go and I know some of you guys are gonna be like well we just want to know because you have a yeah and all these other reasons as to why but I can give you one singular answer as to why I don't want to answer those questions and it is and it will be from this point on because I don't have to now if it's relationship advice that you want about your situation and you feel like it's relative to what I went through then yeah sure I'm all for it but talking about the present tense of anything relating to any type of individual that is not a part of my life I'm not gonna do that it's 2019 it's 2019 it's 2019 and a lot of times you be wondering why your friends not growing or whatever you wonder why the people you hang around with is they not growing is because or you're not growing is because you hanging around people that don't either allow you to grow, don't want to see you grow. They keep doing the same old things. Y'all keep going down the same old road of the past and all of these things and there's no growth. And sometimes you have to change your circle of friends. And I say this strongly. If what I'm saying right now is offending you and you feel like, oh, God. oh then I'm, girl, I'm sorry to see you go, but I respectfully let you go as a best friend. you know and um and i respectfully say that i have to evolve and my brand has to evolve you know what i mean it's kind of like stop giving energy to somebody that don't care about you stop making your friends talk about people that don't care about them hopefully this video served a good purpose and you got what you needed and I answered some questions that have been like an elephant in the room to you all but not necessarily me because I'm gonna continue living my life but hopefully it served its purpose and I know we live in a day and age where people are so sensitive and they get so offended by what you're saying about you and they internalize it and then make it about them and it's really tough for me to be, I don't want to say vulnerable, but just open because when you open yourself up, you open yourself up to people that don't matter in your life. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just rambling on now. I don't, I don't, even, I probably won't even put that in the video just because I just, I just, 
I just don't feel I don't want to say that I don't want to share anymore but I just know everybody I I just know everybody ain't right <laughs> and it kind of spoils it for some people but everybody ain't right and I have to you know when you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. You have to be cautious of those things because I was talking to um, a friend who is on YouTube and just saying that they had a really horrible ex experience brought on by just obsessive... I don't even want to call people... I don't even like to call them subscribers, but people who just have a way, they want to really like impact your life in a negative way. They want to hurt you in a negative way. It's completely malicious, but there are some really malicious people out there and um, you can't give them nothing to talk about. And I know it sucks because y'all wonder why people don't share it. It's because, you know, if God forbid you have a bottle of wine on your counter, she's a horrible mother let's call cps on her you know god forbid you have some laundry oh her house is dirty you know her kids aren't taking being taken care of like people I've, i haven't had that experience but i know people who have had that experience and it is mind-blowing that people go that extra step to have control in your life and it goes beyond this thing that we call or people that we call subscribers that's not a subscriber um, a subscriber and a follower and somebody who supports you by pressing play whether it's a thumbs down or a thumbs up and leaving a comment that's where you leave it but you have some people out there that are not subscribers they are uh, certifiable stalkers and they want to impact your life in a malicious way and see you hurt where it be where whether it be emotionally or physically they want to cause you pain as a way of control and i'm just being honest public figures have to be cautious of that that's why i am the, the way that i am and i don't mean to be that way but it's just a protective measure. And then I'm automatically a Scorpio. So I'm super protective anyway, you know, about the way that I go about things. And it takes a lot of poking for me. Y'all know me. When I'm ready to blow, y'all know that's like, okay, somebody's really ticked her off and she's had enough. That's why she's acting out. But for the most part, I'm just low key and I can take a lot. And... I think it's a good idea if you're a public figure to have an outlet or someone to talk to and not necessarily a family member because they may not understand what it takes to be in, you know, the public, but going to therapy just to deal with the fact that you have to deal with being harassed at your job. And I know people will say, well, all of this comes along with the territory. You get paid enough money if I was a public figure or a celebrity. I don't consider myself a celebrity, but if I was a Cardi B or whatever, you know, I wouldn't hear what people said. I would let them talk about my baby. I would let them talk about me. Ooh, I would get harassed and all these things. But that's such a misogynistic way of thinking that if you make enough money, you should be okay with being harassed. It's kind of like working at a very good paying job. You make six figures. You make over 100K at your job and you're a woman, right? And you shouldn't have any complaints because you make over 100K. So it's okay if your boss feels on your ass. It's okay if your boss speaks to you in a derogatory way and harasses you. It's okay. It's not okay. It doesn't matter if you work in an office or outside of an office. Harassment is harassment. And there are people, not subscribers, 
again, who have that mental line blurred in their head where they go beyond and they think that because you make all this money that it shouldn't matter how they mess with you. And that's not true. But anyway, that's on a deeper level of things. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I covered everything. And if not, I'm sure you will leave it down in the comment section below. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up because this was not easy for me to do. I have been trying to do a sit down for the past six months. And I would record it and then just dump it because I was just so afraid to talk and relate and say what's on my mind um and thank you for allowing me to express myself i don't even know if i'm gonna even have the comments on this video i just might turn the comments off on this video you know what you know what i think i might i don't know i might turn the comments off because i just don't want to deal with any type of backlash or anything for me just saying how i feel but thank you for listening thank you for watching and that shit. I got to go to bed and get my kids ready for school tomorrow. And I will see y'all in another vlog. And that's, that's it for now. That's it for now.